Look at that. What is going on? <laughs> Good afternoon, guys. Welcome to Maverick Baking and welcome to another chocolate review. If you're new to the channel, my name is Kelly and here at Maverick Baking, we share recipes, vlogs, food challenges, and lots of lovely chocolate reviews. So if that sounds like your kind of thing and you haven't done so already, do feel free to tap that little subscribe button. Let me just set the scene for you. Yesterday, I found myself in Venice. I found myself in a very fancy department store, not to buy anything, but to use their toilet, because if there's anything I can share with you as your big Scottish sister, it's that big fancy department stores are often the best place to use a toilet in public. <laughs> but it would be terrible etiquette to go in without at least having a look around or ideally buying something. And all that my budget allows for at the moment is some chocolate. And when I saw this chocolate, I could not say no to buying at least three bars. We are talking today about brick with their packaging that admittedly does look like a somewhat kind of oversized matchbox or some kind of 1970s cardboard container for other hardware. This, this is chocolate and it's a chocolate that I'm incredibly excited to taste. So we have three different flavors of brick chocolate here today. And you might be thinking, Kelly, what about this drew you into the appearance? Let me just give you, let me just give you a sneak peek as to what was on display in this department store that made me say, drop everything and take my money. Look at that. What is going on? <laughs> anyway, we'll get onto that in a minute. Let me talk you through the flavors we have today and let you know whether brick chocolate is worth your heart. In front of us today, we have Brick's Rosemary and Lemon Dark Chocolate. We have their Sesame Charcoal and Orange Dark Chocolate. And we also have this funky blue one I showed you a second ago. Their kind of caramelized white chocolate with salted caramel and passion fruit. So I think we will begin with their dark chocolate. And I would like to start with the Sesame charcoal and orange. So this is this kind of gray container. If I didn't mention it already, Brick appear to be an English chocolate company, so I'm not sure why it's taken me so long to stumble across them. But let's open this up. From the first initial kind of cardboard sheath, we then have a second thicker cardboard sheath. And we are then presented with this little card. So it tells us a little bit about Brick as a brand, along with their kind of social media handle, and it gives us a bit of a kind of tasting chart. It's all very scientific. So we're told that this considered blend of 70% dark chocolate and detoxifying activated charcoal is complemented by an uplifting scent of sweet orange, white chocolate, and sesame cocoa nib shards break through the bitterness, leaving a slight nutty edge. It's all very scientific and sensual at the same time. So let me just show you a close-up, if lighting will allow, of this terrazzo tile of chocolate. It's mad. It's absolutely mad. It's insane, but it's beautiful. Immediately, there's a kind of orange oil smell, and there's a smell of that kind of nice cocoa chocolate. I can't say the sesame comes through immediately, Okay, let's get a piece that has some of those kind of shards in there and let's see if it's worth picking up. The immediate flavor is the orange oil. Orange oil is fabulous because it leaves a lovely natural orange flavor. It tastes and smells like when you grate the zest of an orange and all of that lovely kind of haze splatters out into the atmosphere of your kitchen, you know, it just, it smells, it smells and tastes like a fruit basically. <laughs> and it lingers. And of course we know that chocolate and orange work fabulously together, but this orange oil with that lovely, bold, but balanced 70% dark chocolate is just perfect. Do you get any kind of flavor from the sesame? A little bit. If I'm being honest, I got a kind of pinch of immediate sesame flavor with the first bite that then kind of mellowed out into something that was just somewhat savory as in there's something there but you wouldn't necessarily identify that it was sesame you know going by their little flavor chart which is pointing mostly towards bitter and sweet with the slightest bit of umami i would say that's just about right honestly i would probably say less so in terms of bitter yes it's a 70 percent chocolate which is a lot more 
bold than a milk chocolate, for example, but bitter certainly isn't a word I would use. This is a nice, mellow, sweet and somewhat savory dark chocolate with a gorgeous flavor that I would happily smash the whole the whole bar of immediately. <laughs> Does the flavor wow as much as the appearance? If I'm being honest, no, but it's a good quality chocolate and it's a gorgeous flavor, even if it's not kind of as, you know, dramatic as its appearance. On that basis, I'll give this a very happy four out of five. Shall we move on? to the rosemary and lemon. This is honestly one of the ones that I am most excited about in terms of flavor. Rosemary is my favorite herb. I personally, I think it goes with everything. <laughs> Vegetables, meat, potatoes, rice, pasta, eating it on its own, chocolate. I think rosemary goes with absolutely everything. I adore it. So I'm very hopeful that this stunning, but also somewhat silly looking chocolate <laughs> will hold up to. We have, again, a little kind of tasting card, and this promises that lemon gradually pierces through the base layer of 80% dark chocolate and seamlessly transitions into woody notes of rosemary. Rich tannins are balanced out by creamy white chocolate chips, rounding the earthy flavors for a fragrant and intense bite. If I die, um, I'd like a somewhat similarly sensual description on my gravestone, if possible. <laughs> Maybe not of the tasting notes, but you know. This one we can see is much more kind of bold and contrasting in its colors. Let me see if I can give you guys a close up. There's a kind of beautiful cartoonish banana yellow coming from this. And there's an immediate smell of rosemary. This will sound bizarre. Um, but I do mean this is a compliment. That smells like Christmas day roast potatoes to me with some chocolate underneath. <laughs> of course, a stunning snack. But let's see what this lovely black and yellow chocolate can do for us. Wow, that is absolutely stunning. Zesty kind of lemon flavor, not necessarily anything tangy or acidic as you can get from lemon juice, but that lovely, almost perfume-like zesty fragrance, much like with the orange oil in the previous bar, that is then kind of nicely held in that dark chocolate, which is 80%, so it's pretty strong. And then there is just this loving embrace of rosemary. As I said, I am hugely biased, so this was probably always going to be one of my favorites of these flavors, but that is stunning. Stunning. Again, our little card leans us towards bitter, a little bit towards sweet, a little towards salty, a little towards umami. I would totally agree that this is bitter more than anything else, but that is not a negative. It often can sound like one. It can make you think, oh, does it taste burnt? No, it tastes like good, natural, wholesome, delicious dark chocolate. 80% after all. That's so good with that almost kind of like winter flavor of lemon and rosemary together. It's just, it's just beautiful. This bar, without a doubt, in appearance, in texture, in flavor, in creativity, and in packaging, five out of five, no notes. Let's move on to our terrazzo tile flavored with salted caramel and passion fruit. Why is this blue? <laughs> I don't know. But from this, we can expect a kind of caramelized white chocolate with some passion fruit vibes in there. Let's take a look at our tasting card, which looks totally different for this one. We're leaning towards sweet, umami, sour, and salty with no bitterness in this one. And it looks mad, absolutely mad. And this, this bar, this one on display is what made me buy three of these. I would have loved to have bought seven, but you know, from this, we can expect sweet, buttery caramel, promptly complimented, with a dusting of salt and brightened by a tangy pot of passion fruit that lingers in the mouth after each bite. Whoever's doing their copy, give them a raise. There is an absolute kind of smell of passion fruit there with a little bit of that kind of toasty white chocolate that you get. A very good snack, considering this is both white chocolate and caramelized white chocolate, which can sometimes have a kind of chalky texture. Let's get into this weird and wonderful bar. You know, when you look at those kind of diagrams of, um, of the tongue and how it tastes, 
how there are parts that detect salty, parts that detect sweet, sour. I feel like my entire tongue is being assaulted. <laughs> and I have that chart in front of me, like this is some kind of science experiment of how many can we hit once. That is bloody lovely. Again, tasting card. I love that this is here. Yes, it, you know, some people might say this kind of influences how you taste it, but it really does touch on everything. Immediate sweetness, obviously, because we have caramelized white chocolate and fruit, but the passion fruit delivers a gorgeous kind of sourness. There's a little bit of passion fruit pulp in here. There's also a little bit of citric acid added, which is probably giving that lovely tang. You can taste that there's a kind of pinch of salt in there. And at the same time, that kind of milkiness of the white chocolate afterwards just kind of makes everything cuddle up nicely together. I could eat three of these bars. No problem. For everything it's delivering, much like the previous bar, I cannot give that anything less than a five out of five. Just marvelous stuff. If you guys have ever seen, heard of, or tried brick chocolate before, please do let me know in the comments or otherwise let me know which of these bars you'd be getting stuck into first. But I'm afraid that is all I have time for today, guys. I am going to squirrel these away. Thank you so, so much as always for watching and I will see you for the next one.